Out of Pocket are running a free art auction as part of their contribution to Repertoire of Nonsense. With the aim of making art more accessible to all, this auction will allow you to support local art students with whatever you have in your pockets. No money will be accepted, but crisp packets, paper clips, chewing gum, old receipts and dog biscuits definitely will. Introduce yourself. What group are you representing and what course are you on? I'm Hannah. And I'm Maddie. And we are part of Repertoire of Nonsense in the Fine Art course. And we are representing Out of Pocket. Uh, our studio group is running a free art auction. What are the main themes of your group? Um, so our themes are sort of about giving back, about sort of challenging the value of art and sort of how expensive art has become these days and sort of organise something that's fun and accessible for people who otherwise wouldn't really be able to start collecting art. What does your group's work consist of? So we've, um, we've been collecting artworks from students around campus to auction off and we've also been working on some uh, like silly infomercial style videos to have playing while we're not doing the auctions and we've also made a catalogue. Yes, um. <laughs> um, the catalogue kind of plays with the idea of like the surreal. We've looked at examples of actual art catalogues and we've kind of generated some AI text descriptions to go with each of the artworks. Yeah, it's kind of cursed, kind of funny, yeah. kind of surreal. Um, yeah. Excellent. Um, where can we find you and your work during the festival? So we are upstairs in the poly and we're by the old bar um, at the back. So you'll see us in the corner. We'll have a banner, uh, there'll be some curtains, lots of seats. Yes, and please a take a seat and bid things out of your pocket. Yeah, please give us trash. We want trash. Yes, that's yeah. all we want. How do you want the audience to interact with your work? Um, by bidding on our artworks with trash. Yeah, we want everyone to come in, feel comfortable, sit down and empty out their pockets and see what they can get in exchange. Yes, and don't worry if you don't have anything in your pockets, you can offer us a silly little dance or anything you can think of. We will accept yeah. anything absurd. Inspired by visits to Kennel Vale Nature Reserve and discoveries made at the Falmouth Archive House Within the Poly, this collective are bringing together their individual interpretations to form an immersive reimagining of Kennel Vale and its explosive history through a series of film projections, soundscapes, fabric hangings and water vessels. Focusing on our individual strengths and artistic styles, we are aiming to use variations of mediums to document and respond to our shared experience of visiting the site. Introduce yourself. What group are you representing and what course are you on? I'm Kylie Merrick and I'm part of the Gunpowder Valley. Um, I'm on the fine art course. What are the main themes of your group? Well, we as it formed from us all recognizing that we like making work that's based on outs on the outside and we like site specific um, group. Um, we started as well by thinking that we all wanted to make our own work and then pull it all together. But then we realized that actually it was nicer and easier to start making work. Um, yeah, as a group. So we've kind of done a mix of both. Um, I've made a wall hanging and then people are adding things to it as well. Um, we've let it progress naturally, I think, which has been quite nice and not stressful. What does your group's work consist of? Um, well, the main part of, I think is the vessels. We're using water and reflections. And then we've got some film and sound to really, uh, and yeah, I guess that is immersive. Um, then we've got wall hangings, which represent parts of Kennel Vale. Uh, when we went to the archives, we found this uh, article with this lady selling um, jelly babies. Um, so that's part of it too. It's most, most of it is to do with the outside and bringing the outside in. Where can we find you and your work during the festival?
So we're in the... How do you want the audience to interact with your work? Um, well, I guess... It... Uh, I'm trying to think... It's, well, it, it has a little bit of everything um, going on. I think there's things to look at, there's things to listen to. Um, I definitely think that it would be different every time somebody comes in as well with the reflections of the water and the films. Um, I've made a colouring in sheet as well um, so people can like definitely interact. I've made some fairies. Uh, yeah, hopefully people can colour in and um, feel like they're really part of the forest and uh, <laughs> I don't know what else. <clears throat> no, it's good. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Other people would be. In the middle of things are dedicating themselves to the pursuit of mould, delving into the world of dingy connections, beautiful sprawling webs and everything and anything in between. This collective are taking mould as a starting point and creating individual responses that will be brought together in the cracks and neglected spaces of the poly, plonking ourselves in the middle of things. Introduce yourself. What group are you representing and what course are you on? Um, my name's Eloise Granfield. Um, I'm representing In the Middle of Things and the course I'm on is BA Fine Art. Keep going. Also, oh. I can like send you these clips or whatever to put in your journal. Yeah, you okay, cool. Um. Basically, we're dedicating majority of our work to the pursuit of mould and the idea of this unfamiliar but familiar um almost creature in our homes um, what does your group's work consist of so we've um taken a different approach maybe to other collectives we've decided um we're all quite individual artists however we do really enjoy like studio mentality so we've created pieces um using our own artwork and then we have connected this all together um, using a zine. Um, where can we find you and your work during the festival? Okay so our work will be by the stairs. Um, there'll be, because there's a, quite a number of our work and it's individual pieces all together it will almost be sprawling out from the corner by the stairs how do you want the audience to interact with your work i think there's a range of different art um there's some paintings some crochets um we're obviously going to encourage and put labels on the p pieces that want to be touched and i think we're going to also have chaperones next to the work so to like guide people with the sculptures. And Allegus are investigating the juxtaposition between the two Anaglus's spaces, similar in some aspects but different in others, and exploring how they react and interact with man-made and natural environments. Focusing on the specific theme of space, we would locate it in a beautiful and peaceful environment to enhance the overall concept of space, bringing two different spaces together and watching how they collide. Mm -hmm. Introduce yourself. What group are you representing and what course are you on? Um, my name is Maddie. I'm on Fine Art and uh, I'm representing Analogous. I'm the producer, well, one of the producers for the group. What are the main themes of your group? Uh, the main themes of our group are really to experiment how um, a man-made space that with Analogous uh, like tendencies, which means um, elements to a natural space that we're focusing on they're similar yet different um, so we're taking this man-made space that we've created and bringing it into a beautiful natural area and seeing how they collide so we um, but we've also been focusing a lot on how we react with the structure and how it's a safe space for us um, as a group or as individuals 
and um, over a performance that we did the other day, we were exploring how the environment and ourselves reacted with that structure that we built. What does your group's work consist of? So our group's work consists of um, mainly a structure, a rib case, rib cage piece that we built uh, to feel homely, safe, um, almost tent-like and separate from the outside world. Um, so that's sort of a metal frame and then all decorated and everything. Um, but then we did a performance piece the other day at Pendennis Point, which was mainly just for our chosen friends and family um, if they wish to join, um, but us as a group and spending time with one another and the environment and as individuals. We then took um, footage and um, drawings and everything from that um, and we're putting it together in a video along with the structure within the poly um, so people can come and experience both. There might be a little element of surprise as well there, but we're keeping that secret for now. Where can we find you and your work during the festival? Uh, we're going to be in the main gallery upstairs during the festival um, and we'll be there over both days and we'll have a representative there at all times. How do you want the audience to interact with your work? Uh, we'd like the audience to um, experience our space um, and the structure that we've created in the way that we did too. Um, we won't be on Pendennis Point anymore but see how it interacts with the poly and we tried to bring a lot of really natural elements into it uh, dyes and the shape of it um, you know it being internal to the body we'd like the audience to crawl inside see how they feel at the same time watch the video understand our personal take on how we saw the performance itself and then wait for a little surprise that we've got um, probably at the end of the last day um, but we'll have an explanation there to why we're doing that little surprise as well forbidden fruit always tastes the sweetest the allure collective wants to see how people react to societal structures by testing experimenting and challenging the audience's intellect in a way the audience reaction to our work is the art our interactive event offers a chance to relax, let your thoughts wander and think too much until they become a full circle. We welcome your temptation. With the audience at the heart of their work, the Allure Collective have been investigating how people react to societal structures. In this interactive installation, you'll be invited to test, challenge and tempt your intellect as you relax, unwind and allow your thoughts to wander. Introduce yourself. What group are you representing and what course are you on? So my name's Amy and I'm from the Allure Collective BA Fine Art. What are the main themes of your group? Temptation, we're looking at how people interact with um, our work and how they can challenge themes of temptation. What does your group's work consist of? So there are three parts to our work. There's um, paintings, which we encourage you to draw all over. There are pens provided and a massive sheet of fabric on the back wall um, which we also encourage you to draw all over. Draw what you want, when you want, how you want and then we've also got some sculptures that are made out of clay. There is a hammer and goggles provided so smash away. Where can we find you and your work during the festival? So we're upstairs in the upper gallery in the poly. Um, so we're, as you come up the stairs we are just to your right. We've got two massive temporary walls standing, so it's like a little room that you can walk into. How do you want the audience to interact with your work? Honestly, interact however you see fit. Two of the elements, so with the painting and the fabric, there's pens um, provided, um, so just draw all over it. It may seem weird to draw all over a painting, but we want you to as much as it doesn't feel right. And then um, with the smashing, just grab a hammer and goggles. Make sure one of us is around though and we'll watch you smash the clay models. Introduce yourself. What group are you representing and what course are you on? My name is Sarah. I am part of the Gunpowder Valley Collective. And what was the last question? What my course is? Fine art. What are the main themes of your group? The project started as us wanting to capture different artists take on a same location as a lot of our personal practices 
all very location based um, and yeah we just started to explore the same themes and overlap in our interests um, what does your group's work consist of a montage of different clips that each of us has taken from our location which we've chosen which is Kennel Vale um, so we have loads of like an installation full of different hangings exploring like different parts of what we were interested in and then we have two montages one's portrait one's landscape of different clips that each person took um, of Kennel Vale and then we have a soundscape playing on top of it um, these are also edited together of different elements um, oh yeah and then we have s vessels in the middle of the room uh, each person's either bought or made two vessels each and we will also be projecting onto those which will be full of water from Kennel Vale so hopefully it will reflect onto the water and uh, the image will be able to be seen on the hangings and on the walls. So. We've got a bowl of jelly babies in the middle. Jelly babies. Yeah. Uh, referencing the old lady from Pontonous who... Oh, Lizzie Shardy. Yeah, nicey babies never cry or eat any meat. Where can we find you and your work? Uh, downstairs in the Spring Gallery. Um, how do you want the audience to interact with your work? Um, well, I don't know. It's kind of we're hoping it for it to be a sort of space that people can kind of wander around a little bit and just like enjoy. So hopefully they'll sort of stand around and look at the installation from different angles and viewpoints and hopefully find something new every time they turn. Um, this collective is seeking common ground, taking the idea of ritual, the repeat action or activity. Commonality are exploring the overlaps and differences between their daily activities and how they approach them, whether that is the difference in kinds of things done each day or the way we approach them. We are seeking common ground. There is a sculpture with abstract translations of ordinary activities and everyone's action projected onto it. Introduce yourself. What group are you representing and what course are you on? Uh, my name is Gwena. Um, I'm on Fine Art and I am representing the group Commonality. What are the main themes of your group? Um, our themes consist of the rituals of everyday life, so what you do every day that you might not even think about. What does your group's work consist of? Um, we've made a sculpture combining everyone's actions and um, with that we're also projecting onto the sculpture a small video um, that we've made of us reenacting our actions and hopefully you can spot each one on each piece in the sculpture. Where can we find you and your work during the festival? We're in the poly in the spring gal gallery and on the far right in one of the cupboards. How do you want the audience to interact with your work? Um, we want them to observe and look. There's not much actual physical things going on, but I think the experience is more of a visual one. It's just peek inside the cupboard and see what you see. The grave ravers, the masked ones, champions of play and slaves to their own rhythm. A collective of creatures working towards a self-accepting, inclusive future. This group repurposed the nonsensical and creates spaces where everyone is welcome. The Grave Rave is a place for spontaneous expression, a place to sacrifice the ego and freely express your unlimited selves. Introduce yourself. What group are you representing and what course are you on? I'm Isabel Adams. And I'm Evie Ames. And we're part of the Grave Ravers and we are in fine art. What are the main themes of your group? Um, our group is about dancing, we're a collective, we're about togetherness, we're about being enslaved to the rhythm. I'd say we're quite wavy. I feel like that's our vibe generally and we're just kind of like talking about rebirth and life, you know, in the, in, in the movement of 
Yeah. And like on a different spiritual level. What does your group's work consist of? So we have a sculptural aspect where we've got a grave and then within the grave we have a TV that is showing a film that we've made that um, we're all involved with. There's going to be a number of um, impromptu performances as well sort of throughout the festival that we're planning on. Yeah, disruptive. Yeah. Surprise, shh, don't tell anyone. There's sort of an anonymity to our group, which I think actually like adds into the, the sort of inclusivity thing. Well, we've got characters. Thing. We? Yeah, but it's this... So we've done a sculpture, we've done a film, and we're doing performances, and they all sort of build the narrative of our group. Yeah. The Grave Ravers. Where can we find you and your work during the festival? We're going to be located in the Spring Gallery, and um, there'll be a number of sort of performances across both days at, do you know the in times? The in the poly. No, the times are a secret. It's times are a secret, so you've got to be there. How do you want the audience to interact with your work? Um, I feel like maybe observing and taking in the rhythm would be a good way. I feel like, if, I mean, I wouldn't discourage people from having a little boogie, but I feel Maybe like it's quite yeah. a, it's a very visual experience. It's, it's quite visual, yeah. I think that's the point. Is yeah. It's, yeah, it's all about a sort of aesthetic that we're trying to create: it's groovy, rave, colourful. It's kind of like a, a over the top. There's yeah, a lot like a nineteen seventies hippie vibe as well. There is, yeah. I'd say. In the middle of things are dedicating themselves to the pursuit of mould, delving into the world of dingy connections, beautiful sprawling webs and everything in between. This, collect this collective are taking mould as a starting point and creating individual responses that will be brought together in the cracks and neglected spaces of the poly, plonking ourselves in the middle of things. Introduce yourself, what group are you representing and what course are you on? Hi, I'm Dan and I'm part of the group In the Middle of Things and we are on uh, Fine Art. What are the main themes of your group? The main themes of our group are connections between each other and our connections to nature, um, which we've thought about as entropic processes. What does your group's work consist of? Our group's work consists of um, small sculptures that are going to be hidden in the cracks um, at the top of the poly um, and there's two larger pieces which will be placed in the window. Um, where can we find you and your work during the festival? Uh, you'll find us upstairs in the main gallery at the poly uh, just to the left. How do you want the audience to interact with your work? Uh, we want the audience to, um, well, we were hoping for people to bring uh, cans of food in exchange of uh, a zine, which we've made. Um, however, you're welcome to pick up our zines and um, just spend some time observing, observing the work and paying attention to mould. As an all-women collective, the Lovers of Men aim to disrupt traditional ideas of femininity and etiquette. They are exploring ideas of sanctuary, community, and the sharing of secrets. Authenticity is at the heart of their picnic, offering a non-judgmental space to just be, without a need to be presentable or palatable. Spillages, crumbs, loose threads, frayed edges, and noise are all welcomed here. Introduce yourself. What group are you representing and what course are you on? Uh, I'm Raven. I am in the group The Lovers of Men, and I am on the fine art course. What are the main themes of your group? Our main themes are centered around feminism, uh, safe spaces, specifically for women. Um, why did my mind go blank? That's usually how that goes. I, this is what I've been doing for other people. I've been getting their Instagrams up. That's literally what I had um, to. <laughs> it, it's kind of nice to just see what you've been doing because in yeah. my mind, Everything. Oh, that's what I pulled up too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hit me again. All right. What was it? How was uh, it? The what question? Are the main themes? Oh, okay. Uh, so, our main free centered around ideas of femininity and etiquette, uh, exploring ideas of sanctuary, community, and the sharing of secrets. What does your group's work consist of? 
Uh, so we collectively made a picnic blanket together and we have staged a picnic, um, which was a safe space for all of our group members to share a meal together. We uh, have a film that kind of the documents that time that we shared together um, so that you can kind of experience that time we had. Where can we find you and your work during the festival? We are upstairs in the main gallery on the left side. How do you want the audience to interact with your work? Oh, there's so much thing. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Go and listen to the, to the, cause you had recording. Like, yeah, so there's a film um, that's gonna have the, cause we like, so we basically we took a portion of it and we just like did um, the audio in reverse to put over the film. So it's mm -hmm. kind of like, because we're sharing secrets, um, you don't get to know what we were saying exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like our own secret language of what was actually going on. Our aim is to highlight the singular experience through sensibility. Our reconstruction and manipulation of the space invites the participants to explore and respond to their interactions with touch, sound and sight. The importance of the singular experience is to reduce the vulnerability when felt when sharing the space and access the sensitivity of looking out to look in, a recollection of the senses as opposed to an attack. We do not intend to inflict a particular emotion or feeling onto the participants. The purpose of the space is to usher participants towards an inner human experience that is usually suppressed within contemporary society. Participants can spend as much time as they like in the space and as a group will take it in turns to mind the entrance and exit. Introduce yourself, your group, and what course you're on. Uh, I'm Brad. I'm in uh, the collective Cradle, uh, and I'm on Fine Art second year. What are the main themes of your group? Uh, we were working with themes of uh, connection between people, connection between each other in the group, uh, worldwide connections, and um, taking a lot of inspiration from a spider's web and how the vibrations down a spider's web connect uh, sounds and and how vibrations between different points on the spider's web connect each other. Where can we find your group? Uh, we are in the centre of the main hall at the back of the poly. How do you want the audience to interact with your piece? Uh, how we've uh, how we expect them to interact has changed quite a lot since the beginning of the project. Um, we first wanted them to enter the dome and explore it from within, but it's um, as it's evolved, it's now something that's only going to be viewed from the outside. What are the main components of your group's work? Uh, first, the the main dome, the geodesic dome, um, gifted to us by our tutor. Um, which became a framework for the rope that we strung between the points on it. I think we used over 600 metres of string. I think we used 600 metres of string or more to make uh, the sculpture within the space. And then uh, audio is, plays a huge part as well. Um, we have sounds playing um, that are uh, live streamed audios from different points on the planet. Two are always playing at a time and when one ends it chooses, uh, the program chooses another random uh, point to live stream from so there's constantly connections in the audio and in the visuals. Nexus, noun, a connection or series of connections linking two or more things. Nexus Collective are working on a collaborative performance film and sculpture that combine the group's skills and talents into a unique showing of both a performance and a film screening that all revolve around the word connection. As a group, Nexus has found connection either with nature, people or touch, a profound methodology in the individual practices, combining these to make works that can speak about their relationships with ourselves and the natural world. It's 8.32pm, we're sat in a pub drinking a pint of wob. We're sitting here trying to figure out what we've done. After 45 minutes, this is the best we've got. The two of us shared a studio for two weeks because that's what artists do. We spent most of our time chatting and playing guitar. We made some work, but mostly made coffee. Artists are weird and every artist needs a space to be weird in. This is our weird space and here are all our weird things. Introduce yourself, your group, and what course you're on. Um, I'm Finn, 
I'm on not a thinking space, a doing space, um, on fine art. What are the main themes of your group? Um, it's a tough question. Uh, we kind of struggled to figure out what we were doing, but it's it's kind of to do with um, sort of unconscious collaboration in a way. Um, so we don't, me and Stan don't really create much work, but we spend a lot of time together and, and we get something out of it. So it's about trying to display that. Where can we find you? Um, so we're sort of right as you come up the stairs behind the big white plinth. Um, we're just on the other side. What are the main components of your work? Um, so there's just one piece, which is sort of like a installation um, piece. We sort of, um, yeah, we sort of put a load of things that we own on a rug assemblage. Yeah. How do you want the audience to interact with your work? Um, it's largely just to look at. Um, but there, there is an element that we want people to like ask us questions about it and, and have a discussion about what's there and, and why. Nexus, noun, a connection or series of connections linking two or more things. Nexus Collective are working on a collaborative performance, film and sculpture that combine the group's skills and talents into a unique showing of both a performance and a film screening that all revolve around the word connection. As a group, Nexus has found connection either with nature, people, or touch, a profound methodology in their individual practices, combining these to make works that can speak about their relationships with ourselves and the natural world. Introduce yourself. What is your group and what course are you on? Hi, I'm Maria. I'm on the Nexus Collective and I'm on Fine Art. What are the main themes of your group? Uh, mainly it's connection, whether it's just connection to each other, connection to nature, just connection. What are the main components of your group's work? So we've got three facets of our collective project. Uh, one of them is a sculpture that has to do with connection with like hands and stuff and also some nature because it looks like a tree with hands. Um, then we've got a performance that has a lot to do with like touch and connection through physical touch and we've also got pigments that will and ribbons that we'll be working with um, and then we've got a film uh, which was just like a space for people to put in whatever footage they feel like conveys the message of connection and we edited it all together and we've got a film all about what it means to us each of us connection means to each of us where can we find your group's work? We are upstairs in the main gallery on the left side towards the back. And the performance is going to be happening at the Princess Pavilion on Wednesday and Thursday at 11 and 3. How do you want the audience to interact with your work? It's mainly to just watch and come to their own conclusions, maybe think about what connections mean to them and what what they connect with the, the most is it nature is it, is it other people yeah just sparking some conversation around connection i guess please leave your message after the tone Kalump sets out to instigate a playful dialogue between strangers repurposing the humble telephone a series of interventions take place between us between the audience between locations or just oneself Introduce yourself. What group are you in and what course are you on? Hi, I'm Emil. I am part of the Collective Columph and we are on the Drawing BA. What are the main themes of your group's work? Uh, it focuses on communication, but through sort of old, neglected um, phones. Um, it's one of those things where Nowadays we have the phone in our pocket, but it's hardly ever used for what they were in intended for when they first started off. So phone calls are no longer as popular as they used to be. It's all about texting and quick access to pe communication with others. And we kind of wanted to revisit this idea of using the phones for their intended purposes to make uh, or to create a connection between strangers um, and an audience. Where can we find you? So we are located in the main hall in the poly on the top floor uh, towards the middle on the right side. 
on top of that, we have one phone located in the lower half of the poly. And we've got a phone set up at the pavilion that links the pavilion with the poly. What are the main components of your work? Surprisingly, phones. Um, it's a mixture of analog phones and digital phones, sort of ranging between 2000s and 2015 models. Uh, set in a quite domestic sort of setting, we've made use of um, furniture, like household furniture, sort of create um, quite a domestic scene, which we thought was relevant to the setting of a phone in its everyday use in the past. How do you want the audience to interact with your work? We want the audience to be playful, really. We're not expecting it to be understood exactly what's supposed to be done with it, but some of them might be more straightforward, like we've got an old Nokia brick that is intended to be used to play snake by a sofa, and others might be more sort of confusing, um, like listening to a meditation that tells you a bunch of random things. But it's the idea of listening and talking. Total Nuclear Annihilation is an art collective comprised of Thomas Morris, Al Kosovich and W.J. Howard. We are collaborating with Ankoff Audio to produce a hybridised audio-visual experience entitled Scholar of the First Sin. The installation is inspired by historically ingrained, westernised biblical imagery and artistic renderings of the Apple of Eden. We have theorised a contemporary technological Apple of Eden, a symbol of all knowledge of good and evil made accessible by the internet abstracting ideas and implementing meridian creative processes. We create a pocket dimension in which societal discord and apprehension is given form. Scholar of the First Sin ex extrapolates upon apocalypse and 21st cy century cyberphobia within the purview of modern art practice, relating the internet to the Apple of Eden. Serpentine animations, digital printing and projection, in addition to quasi-performative sculpture, will complement the contemporary dark cyberwave live production of Anchor Audio. Our exhibition is intended to disorientate and overwhelm, to provoke and rouse, and to illuminate and unearth. Introduce yourself, your group's name, and what course you're on. I'm William Howard, and um, my group is Total Nuclear Annihilation, and I am a second year fine arts student. What are the main themes of your group's work? So primarily we're working within the uh, post-digital, um, and we're collating ideas of 21st century cyberphobia, as well as the idea of representing the Apple of Eden um, as a modern day internet, essentially, um, in which all knowledge of good and evil is based upon this uh, technological idea that is accessible by all humans. Where can we find your group? So currently we are in the Cornish Bank Vault, which is the downstairs basement area of the Cornish Bank venue. Uh, to be able to find this from the poly, just um, take a right outside the door and head up until you see the, the great big pride flag, actually. And um, you can either make your way through the building and go down the stairs, or you can um, make your way around the back and there'll be signage, basically, for you to, to be able to find us. What are the main components of your group's work? So the uh, primary component and the um, thing which we are using most of all is uh, CRT monitors. Um, within the space we have seven of these um, which are playing a sort of hybridised uh, chimeric video which has been edited and put together by, by, our, by our collective um, which are then interlinked into other CRTs uh, through daisy chain and coaxial cables. Um, within this we also have two live DJs who are playing uh, sort of synthwave music to complement the sort of neo Neo 80s, Neo Cold War sort of hysteria and dread that we're we're trying to promote, and on top of that, we also have uh, noise reacting lights um, and lots of loose cabling to to be able to represent this idea of the the serpentine uh, sort of avatar of um, the Apple of Eden. How do you want the audience to interact with your work? So primarily, um, we'd like people to come into the space um, be, be, to be able to visualize the animations which we're providing for the CRTs, as well as um, listen into the, the audio production from Anchor Audio, our, our live DJs for the event. Um, within the space, we want you to be almost overwhelmed or, or uh, distracted by, by the static sounds, the static visuals, and, and the, the DJs playing the music to almost give this idea of data overwhelm, um, like being overwhelmed by data, just like we are in this 21st century digital age.